Many of you have asked if it was possible to create custom integrations with the platform, automate certain tasks, and build custom applications that leverage WP Stream's video streaming capabilities. Well, totally possible using WP Stream's API. In this video, I will show you how you can use your WP Stream account to log in and authorize yourself via the WP Stream API and how to check your streaming data and storage. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the bottom of the wpstream.net homepage and click on API Docs. This will take you to the API documentation, which provides developers and businesses with instructions for low-level access to operations commonly employed by the WPStream WordPress plugin. The first step would be authent authenticating yourself using the API. You can either use an existing WP Stream account or click on the link and register. The link will take you back to the homepage and you will click on start free trial, add all your details and create your account. You will then be taken to your dashboard where you can see how much streaming data and storage you have and you can also confirm your email address. Let's go back to the WP Stream API and authenticate our account. Click on access token. Here you will add your email account and password. Note that if you wrote the correct username and password, code 200 successful auth will appear. If you did not write the correct details, code 401 will appear and say invalid credentials. Let's attempt, attempt to authenticate with our email and password by clicking on try it out. Replace this text with your details and then click on execute. The response body shows code 200 with the access code, which means your details were correct. Copy the access token, which is right over here, and go back up and click on authorize. Paste the access token and click on authorize and close. You are now authenticated. Next, let's check out how much streaming data and storage we have. So click on user quota. Once again, there is code 200 for successful response and 401 for unauthorized. Let's go back up and click on try it out and then execute. Response code 200 shows that it was successful and you will see the total data you have available, use, uh, etc. If you need more streaming data, you can go to wpstream.net slash pricing to check out all our streaming plans. And you can click on calculator and add further details on your streaming goals and it will show you which plan is best for your needs. I have just showed you how to register, authenticate your account against the WP Stream API and how to check your streaming data and storage. In the next video, I'll show you how to manage your channels, including how to create a new channel and start a new live channel to live stream. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.